Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. We're gonna make shepherd's pie today. Two types of shepherd's pie, actually, a vegan one and a traditional one. Well, traditional in my house, I, I honestly don't know how traditional it is. Um, but you wanna start by peeling your potatoes and peeling your carrots. Potatoes, of course, are for the mashed potato layer that goes on top of the meat filling. Um, we're only using carrots in the traditional or the meat um, shepherd's pie. My daughter really hates carrots, so leaving those out of hers. Uh, so you want to chop your potatoes up into even shapes, and you want to dice your carrots as small as you like them. For aromatics, we are using a yellow onion, a few cloves of garlic, rosemary, and thyme. You want to get all of those chopped or minced up very small and set them aside. So I'm using Bob's Bread Mill Egg Replacer. Um, this is gonna serve as the egg for the vegan mashed potatoes. And I need an egg yolk for the regular ones. Also making two broths, a vegetable broth for the vegan shepherd's pie and chicken broth for the regular one. So you wanna put your potatoes in a pot. Don't turn the heat on yet. Cover it completely with cold water. Cover that with a lid and then turn the burner on to high. Um, leave the lid on until they come to a boil. And then you want to get your aromatics all kind of cooked till they're translucent. Translucent? Translucent. Why do I always fuck up at least one word in these? Um, I actually realized that I made a mistake. I needed the bigger pan to make the family shepherd's pie and the cast iron to make my daughter's because she's the vegan. Um, so I switched the pots. I hadn't done anything not vegan yet, so it was okay. Um, I had to buy Beyond Burger Patties because they were out of the Beyond Beef, like traditional ground beef package. Um, so you just wanna toss those into your pan and season it. I'm using pepper, kosher salt, and I think some garlic pepper seasoning. I'm not sure what that was. Um, but get the meat all kind of stirred and combined with the aromatics and brown it completely. After it's brown, go ahead and add in the garlic and reduce the heat to medium. You started on medium high, if I forgot to say that. Uh, after the garlic has kind of become fragrant, you're going to sprinkle in some flour. This will be a thickener for that meat mixture. And once that's all stirred in, oh, well, check your potatoes. They had come to a boil. Um, so now you want to take off the lid, reduce the heat to medium low, and let them simmer until they're tender. It'll take about 15 minutes. Keep working on your meat mixture, of course. Um, so after the flour has cooked into the meat, go ahead and add in your broth and stir that in well. If you like um, a like soupier shepherd's pie filling, you will want to use more broth than what I call for. Um, we eat it kind of dry, I guess. It's not dry, but there's no like sauce. Um, and after you have your broth mixed in, go ahead and toss in your tomato paste. And after that's incorporated, go ahead and add in your minced herbs, that rosemary and thyme from earlier. And after those are stirred in well, go ahead and add in some Worcestershire. Using vegan Worcestershire for my daughters, of course. Uh, if you don't have any and you're trying to make the vegan version, you can skip it if you have to. Um, you can find it in most 
um, health food stores and online as well. Now it's time for your veggies. Um, I'm using frozen peas and sweet corn, a mixture of white and yellow corn. Just the corn I like to use, you use whatever you want. Um, and now my potatoes are done. Test them, make sure they're tender, and then mash them all up. Um, I have a ricer and things like that, but there's no real reason to get rid of all the lumps. A potato masher will do just fine, or a wooden spoon if that's all you have. Now the potatoes, of course, will need to be made separately, um, the vegan ones and the regular ones, because the vegan ones are using that egg replacer and plant-based butter, whereas the regular ones will have regular butter and an egg yolk. I also uh, put milk into, warmed milk, into the regular potatoes. I would have put warmed plant-based milk into the vegan ones, but I didn't have any that was unsweetened and I didn't have any luck finding it at the store, so I left it out. This means that the mashed potato layer on the vegan pot pie will be less creamy. Well, not less creamy, it's actually going to be super creamy, but less fluffy. You'll see at the end. Um, but make sure your meat mixture is kind of flattened down in an even layer. And you want to plop your potatoes all over the top. Um, try to space out the plops. <laughs> I just like that word. Try to space them out uh, evenly so that it's easier to spread them all out. And then you kind of want to make a layer that seals the meat mixture in. I should have made more potatoes than I did for these two pot pies. And you will see why shortly. Then these go into the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes until they are brown on top. Um, you can see that the vegan mashed potatoes are creamy, um, but not really fluffy. Still hold together well and they're really delicious, but the texture is a bit different because we're missing that milk. And this is why I needed more potatoes. The layer wasn't thick enough on this pie to really seal in the meat filling. But they are very fluffy. You can see the difference that the, the milk made in these. But that's it. Um, it's pretty simple. It uses pretty simple ingredients as well for both of them. If you try it, I hope you like it. And thanks for watching as always. Um, I appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with me and I hope you have a good one. Bye.